launchers. Let's talk about them. So there's lots of different ways you can make LEGO Beyblade launchers. Here are some of them, and I'm going to be showing them all off because launchers are a pretty complex part when it comes to making LEGO Beyblades. Like, you obviously need a launcher that's powerful and works well, and um, these all fit into that category. We're going to start off with this one right here, which is a very basic one. It's not even a launcher, really, the build itself. It's just this little add-on that's very simple and easy to make. It's only, like, a couple pieces, um, but basically... Um, it's this Lego tire wheel thing piece, and then I have an axle with this right here, which this is what I use to connect my Lego Beyblades to. I know some people usually do like two studs, or two studs like this, or two studs like this, but you can just add them on top of this and you'll be good. But this fits in any uh, burst launcher prong, so we got like a Hasbro one, it fits just like that. You can even give it like a string launcher. And it fits. I don't really recommend the string launchers because they can kind of get tangled up and they feel weird and they might like break the Beyblade because of how powerful they are. So using uh, ripcord launchers is definitely the way to go in my opinion. So uh, yeah, so very simple, very basic, very quick to explain. Let's get into the weirder stuff. Now like this. Yeah, it's like a car. For this one, I'm actually going to show off how to build it part by part. So we're going to start off with this... Um, 12 by 2 plate like this then we take this piece right here which is like like a like rev up engine thing i don't know but this is what we're gonna use for the launcher we just put this on here and then we take like a brick or something and then we like close it off i think i built this upside down we're supposed to put this on the bottom aren't we Yeah, we are. Okay, so we're gonna fix that up real quick. There we go. So now we have this, and then we have this 10x2 piece on top. So that's our, like, grip. Not the most comfortable, but it works. And then we take this axle, slide through here. And then you want to take the same Beyblade launcher, like, piece and put it onto here. And then you're gonna use the tire again and put it on the other side. Now, why are we using a tire? Well, this is what we're gonna use to, like, crank the thing up and we have a nice grip on it. Then once we hear a click, which is like this, that's a nice click, then we let go, and you saw it spin. We're gonna uh, test this out with a Beyblade, so I'm gonna get a Beyblade real quick, and then we're gonna test it out. Alright, so we got Dragon here, which we're gonna test it out on, but one way I recommend getting this thing ready is by grabbing onto the tire and twisting it by the grip, like that. Then you hold onto the tire, you put the Beyblade on there, and then we launch it. Three, two, one, let it rip. You kind of have to shake it, but it spins, and it fell off my desk, but you get the point. It's not the strongest launch, but if you don't have anything to build a ripcord or whatever, or you don't have those crappy plastic launchers that Hasbro puts in their Beyblades for some reason, this is a pretty solid option. But if you do have, like, a ripcord of some kind, then might I suggest my stick launcher, which uses an actual, like, a ripcord piece, and a very simple design for the launcher. The ripcord itself is this Lego ripcord. It's quite flexible and quite thick, so it's a really solid option for Lego Beyblade launchers. And I also added on this piece right here, which snaps into the back. Oh my gosh. Snaps into the back like that, and then you have a much bigger grip for larger hands, which is nice. Now onto the launcher itself, I'll show you how to build this thing uh, part by part. So for this build, we kind of have multiple layers to build up, so we're going to start. So we're going to take one of these 1x6 plates and then add a 1x4. And then we're going to alternate between 1x6s for 1, 2, 3, and 4 more times, just like this. Uh, next up is going to be the main launcher portion, so we're going to take one of these one. Uh, two by two kind of corner pieces then a one by four right here then we're gonna flip it upside down add a two by two and then we're gonna also add a one by two piece or one by two plate and another one right there flip it back here add another corner piece and then a one by three and then another one by three at the bottom so here's our uh, base skeleton of it basically so now we're gonna get into like the technical bits so we have this the technical bits yeah that's the technical term for technical bits i guess i don't know but we have a <laughs> what am i going on about we have this uh one by two with a technical in it then you could add like another one on this side but i like 
this piece, so we're gonna put that on here now, I guess. Um, so it's a large Technic brick. You don't need to do that. You can just add another one here and then add more bricks along here, but this is just convenient. Now, we're gonna add a sloped 2x2 two two brick, and then a another 1x2 uh, and a 1x1, one one. and this one is rounded because for some reason, um, on this side, there's like not a lot of friction between the ripcord and the uh, gear or whatever, but um, on this side, there is a lot when I use a normal brick, so I'm using this rounded off one, which has less friction and it's easier to go through. So that's nice. Um, and yeah, you can tell because the gear we're using is quite big, but, um, or at least in comparison to the size of the hole, but we're just gonna take an axle, slide it through, then add your Beyblade launcher bit of choice, and then we have this, and the ripcord will kind of slide through these small holes, um, like that, we'll pull it out, and that broke, but, you know, we'll of course add some reinforcement to the top right now, but first, um, we're gonna add another 1x6, then a 1x... Uh, I forgot the name of that part, a 1x4, oh my goodness. Um, and then a 1x3, uh, then add this slope piece right here, and then we kind of add uh, tiles along here, so we'll take like this longer one, I think it's like a 1x8. Add the right there, maybe like a 1x4 here, then maybe some 1x1s around this area, and then another one of these, and another right here, and some more along here. And there is our extra reinforcement, and our launcher is done. So here is um, right spin, pretty good, and also left spin, which also feels pretty good. And if this side is also like kind of has a lot of friction, you can of course add another rounded piece on this side as well. So to test this out, we're of course gonna use dragon because why not? And it spins, it's quite strong. I don't want to pull too hard because I don't want to knock my tripod over, but if when you use this thing in the stadium, it is a very solid choice for a launcher. Now, let's get into the um, debatably strongest launcher here, which is my custom ripcord launcher, which has three parts actually, which we're going to show off each of them individually. So to start off the ripcord, you're going to want to make a long strip that is around 30 studs long, one stud wide, and um, two plates tall. So we're gonna have this as our base. Then, you're gonna wanna add six of these one by four like teeth pieces. And that's our, um, those are our teeth for the ripcord of course. So it's sturdy, and it's thick, and it'll be very strong. Um, give us a nice strong launch. Then we have this like, slope piece that goes right here just to stop the ripcord and now we're gonna build the handle which is inspired by the dragon ripcords from plastic gen so to build the top part we're gonna add a one by two um sloped brick then a one by one headlight then just stack up some one by twos then maybe add a brick too then one of these one by two slope pieces and then a one by one tile you also want to add a stud of some sort in the back of this. And then you want to do the same thing on the bottom except make it upside down. So one of these inverted slopes, another headlight brick, same pattern of um, stuff at the bottoms so like the plates and the brick. Another one of those slopes but again inverted. Then a one by one plate instead of a tile, another stud in the back. And then add this just for some extra security. And there we have our uh, rip cord and it's quite long you can make it longer but I choose not to because sometimes when I like rush launch I have it angled and the rip cords like in the stadium and it's kind of a mess kind of a mess but yeah there's a rip cord let's move on to the main launcher itself now similar to the stick launcher there's sort of different layers that we need to get through the first once again is the layer of plates I'm actually gonna move the camera down a little bit there we go once again, another layer of plates, and then we're gonna do another layer of bricks this time around. So we get some bricks like this, and add some plates on the bottom, the ones we just added. Then some more bricks like this, 
So one layer of plates, one layer of bricks, and then in it we have a one by four hole, which this is where the rip core is gonna go through. Now we're gonna get to the more technical layer and then it's gonna go back to simple. We add a one by six uh, Technic brick, then a one by one and a one by two Technic brick with two holes in it this time around. This is for the grip by the way, so the grip can attach. Um, another one by two brick. Kind of mirror this on the other side although you can add this onto here if you want if you're a lefty but i am a righty so um the grip connectors on this side again mirror that there then we're gonna add two of the bricks with the holes in it the one by well, two bricks with one hole in it then we're gonna add an axle which is about six or it is um six uh studs long at our beyblade or no actually wait hold on we have to put this smaller gear into here, just like that, kind of slip it through. You kind of have to like, um, move it around a little bit in there, kind of get it to the right position until eventually you should be able to get it down. This is really hard. Okay, so you know what? This is where this trick comes in, where you put the gear in first like this, then you attach it on, then you feed the rest of the axle through. Then I like add this little wheel thing onto here. Why? Because I think it looks neat or something. I don't know. But then finally we add another layer of bricks. Uh, I also have this configuration of plates, which if you want to do that, you're uh, feel free to. And then to top it off, a layer of tiles to smooth it out, make it more clean, and give it a nice look. And there we go. We have our box, which the ripcord fits in slides around quite nicely now we're just gonna do the test launch right now because I feel like that would be easier but at least on the desk so do that oh yeah also a common thing you have to do with launchers is to make sure you don't attach the Beyblade on all the way you don't want the gap to be completely closed leave some wiggle room make it easier to launch you'll you'll thank me later so let's move on to the grip which I actually recommend making your grip your own way as we have different size hands of course so um, I'm, I'm not really gonna show this one it's basically just alternating layers of plates bricks tiles the one thing that I will show though is um, the way this thing um, connects so we have this um, piece right here let me just get this off there we go we have this piece right here, which these might look like um, these tubes that are like two studs long. You'd be wrong because they're the ones that are three studs long. And we have the piece that kind of blocks it from moving. Sandwich in between these two 1x4 Technic bricks with um, uh, like the plate right here just to keep it all nice and secure. We kind of sand this, sandwich this in between like that. And then you have a nice sturdy connection for your launcher and you have a nice looking launcher very reminiscent of like plastic gen i feel especially how the launcher is like the dragon ripcord but i like this and obviously this is themed after exo you can make your color scheme however way you want but um that sh is pretty much it so overall many different kinds of launchers for many different kinds of play styles i have no idea where the basic one might here is um but yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully these launchers work as well for you as they do for me. And um, yeah, I don't have anything to throw in the stadium, so I'll just see you guys in the next video.